Satisfaction. Ah, that's so good. You guys tried this? The Horn of the Wild from Botania. And then I'm using a Electromagnet from Ender.io. But really you could use any magic. M m magnet. Magic. <laughs> so hey there and uh, welcome to episode 15 of our uh, survival stories. I hope that everyone have been good. Uh, one of the first things we're doing in that uh, in that uh, tank room, by the way, definitely a dye farm, flower farm, because uh, oh man, <laughs> I run out of dyes all the time. Like I'm doing ender chest for the tank, and this is just this is the way to go. I've been manually plucking these flowers earlier, but uh, yeah, that. This needs to be automated. Alright, so pretty good amount of stuff from that five minute trip. Um, that Horn of the Wild is really cool. Uh, we've got a lot of different flowers. These are botanical flowers that we can make into dye, if you remember. Um, but we don't want to do that manually, even though it's cool. So I have prepared a spot here. Uh, but before I get into that, I will show you a neat way of doing a dye farm um, that I've thought of, but I haven't really tried it, so we will see. But I've kind of written signs, so we will have the dye farm there, and we'll take the tour around. We anyway need to replace the lamps for the uh, yellow ones instead of the different colored ones. Uh, and, um, and we'll see what farms I've planned out. So... Over here I planned out a redstone, glowstone, ender, and ender pearls farm. Alright, not going to do that today, but uh, that's definitely a farm that com that's coming down. Over here we got an empty spot. This is a, a vacant spot. Do you say that? A vacant spot. So any farm that wants to move in, I've got an ad out and everything. <laughs> we have uh, mob essence farm coming down here. A XP farm, that's the uh, liquid XP thing. We may do that today, maybe. What about over here? No lamp, no light. Uh, the steam creation room, right? So I mentioned in the last episode that maybe we will do like a steam boiler and get more steam out of that and that combined with the, with the cooking of steam upstairs may give us enough power, I'm not sure. But that will come down over here. And I haven't forgot about the power plant, by the way. Um, this is just an addition or part of the power plant. So that will come down over here. And I've kind of laid these out so that they correspond to the tanks in their section. We've got another vacant spot here. Very nice. And emerald farm. Right. An emerald farm over here. And then we're back to the dye farm. Nice. Now we've got yellow lamps all over. And I've also worked a bit on the lighting. I... The these, the powered light, no, they aren't the powered light, that's just a bug in Wayla. These are inverted, inver <laughs> inverted and ender, ender IO lamp, and I see that I missed one there, so hey, let me place one. Light, uh, powered light inverted, no, light inverted, so the powered light inverted, they will give off a bigger signal, alright? These, um... So that's off, by the way. These will just uh, shine like a torch, shine bright like a diamond. No, shine like a torch, um, but they do not require any power. So I figured I want these lamps. We are going with them in the rest of the factory. They're very neat and hidden, and we don't have any bat issues anymore. Isn't that wonderful? Right, um, how, about, how about we do the dye farm, and then I will think about if we do if we do have time we could do either the emerald farm or the xp farm but we need a dug out room first and there we go room dug out very good um now i haven't tested this but the way this is going to work we are going to use botania we're going to grow the botania flowers and those we can turn into dice right so um let me just show you show you the design here a little bit um I'm not sure. I wanted these crazy wedge thingies here. Um, 
I'm not sure if they look good or if it just looks derpy. Let me know what you think. Maybe we should change these up, actually. Should we try it? Maybe we should do... No, not that. Not that. Th is This is the guy, maybe, but the other direction, yeah. Ooh, look at that. That looks that looks fancy, right? Yeah. Um, and uh, we don't really have a room for a dashboard, which is the only problem here. But we will live. For this farm, we're going to need like an on-off switch. I do not want this thing to run all the time. Um, but the way this is going to work is that there is a flower called the Jaded Amaranthus. And this flower um, will grow botania flowers anywhere it can in its nearby area and i'll check this out in creative and it will spawn them within uh, or in a nine by nine and we we've got a seven by seven here with dirt because it can't spawn on the factory blocks um, which will slow the farm down slightly but in the end it won't really matter um, so we're gonna have that guy there and i just remember that i forgot to build something very important uh, but he's going to spawn flowers, provide, provided that he got mana nearby. So let's put this down here just for demonstration. And I've got my mana, mana tablet with me. I haven't quite figured out. That should be good. Yeah, look at that. He's spawning botania flowers randomly. And it's not just going to be that color, but uh, I like magenta. Um, and then what we will do is... Wow, he's, <laughs> he's really spawning magenta flowers. Uh, and then what we will do is have the thing that I forgot to build. Let's let's look in our lexica. Um, there is a drum. Drum of the wild, I guess, is the name. Um, that will do exactly what the horn of the wild does. So it will kind of harvest the flowers. Let's have a look for how to create it. I think it's here. Uh, oh God, I have no idea where it is. Uh, <laughs> natural apparatus, that, that sounds promising. Uh, Drum of the wild, yeah, here we go. This guy here, that's pretty, pretty straightforward. That's simple to craft. I don't think I have enough living wood though, so I can't really do it on camera. I have to go up and create a bit more. Yeah, but let's let's pick that up and I'll fix that in a second. Um, <clears throat> but the drum of the wild, wild provided a mana burst. A mana burst is when a mana spreader shoots a um, shoots a mana burst. <laughs> that made sense, right? Uh, once it receives one of those bursts, it will harvest an amount of flowers around it. Not the jaded ama. Uh, Amaranthus, but it will harvest the other flowers. So my my plan is that we hook up a redstone clock and I'm actually going to use computer craft for it because I want a custom one that's like 15 seconds interval and every 15 seconds we will pulse the uh, redstone mana spreader which can accept the redstone signal um, and then aim that at the drum the drum will harv uh, harvest the flowers and then we'll have a vacuum chest or something to pick it up and we will um, send it into our applied energistics system network um, and then I want an on-off switch like over here or maybe over here for the clock for the computer because I don't want this thing running all the time as I said I'm not sure how to produce mana I was thinking of trying these night shades night shades it says in the book that these will um, generate mana where the day bloom thingy won't. So where the flower that produces mana from sunlight cannot generate uh, mana, which should be in the dark, this guy will. So I will try to hook these up and see if that's sufficient. Otherwise, I'll, I guess I'll just manually have to carry mana down here using mana tablets. But uh, yeah, looking nice. So I think like every 15 or 20 seconds they will harvest and we can leave it on and I promise you like after After having it running for an hour or so, I think we will have tons of flowers But we will see let me get crafting that thing and let me also set all this up the way I've I've planned it in my head and uh, we'll come back and see the results. All right, I think I think this is gonna work. Uh, it doesn't look fantastic. I admit that. Like we have a wire in the middle here, 
at the same time though, this is a farm. We'll install a door here so that we can close it. Uh, more importantly, let's see if it works. Uh, I tried generating mana with these nightshades, but that doesn't seem to work. So for now, until I figure something out, if you have a tip, let me know. Oh no, I can't. <laughs> right. So that vacuum chest is sucking things up to the ender chest, hooked up to this for now, and there you go. I will then put this upstairs and hook it up to our applied energistics system, but now we know that that is working. Uh, <laughs> for now, I just want to get this mana into the thing here, and I seem to be having a hard time doing so. Oh, come on now. All right. That's all we need, I think, uh, for demonstration. Now let's put this. Let's put this back. That mana pool should be enough for this guy to build new flowers as well. Uh, then I built a computer, a quick program. Um, edit clock. That is just a redstone clock, basically. I set my interval to ten seconds, and then it's launching this loop where it's uh, if it's on, if it's receiving a redstone signal from here. It is going to send a redstone pulse every 10 seconds to this wire, which is hooked up to the mana spreader. Um, so that should work, I think. Uh, I haven't tested this yet, so it's going to be interesting. So let's run the program and pull the lever. And the walls are open just so we can see what's happening. So now that's getting a signal, so it should momentarily send a signal. There we go. And that harvests the flowers, because that guy sent a burst. Let's see it again. Boom, beautiful. And it's going into the guy and it should be appearing here. Yes. And if we hook this up to our network and import it, we'll have it in our system. That is nice, I like it. Very, very simple. If I can figure out a way to generate mana down here, uh, we should be good. And um, yeah, I like it. I will uh, cover, cover up these, of course. I wanted the computer uh, reachable though, so I'm gonna leave that like so. Um, and then I'm gonna do this once I figure out how to get mana generated. Um, but yeah, that's a dye farm with Botania. We're gonna have tons of dyes. And I needed that for when hooking up the tanks, I ran out of dyes coloring the ender tanks. Uh, and uh, we need dyes for a lot of things, believe it or not. So this was a very important build. We do not have time for any XP farm or emerald farm though, so Maybe I will, in between the episodes, build a few farms and then I'll just demo them. We'll see. We'll see. But for now, I'm happy with this. We got a we got a die farm. I got some small detail fixing to do still. But um, let me know what you think of the build. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I uh, I hope that you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Until then, take care. Bye bye. Thank you.